Carp does it once again. Pouncer's CEO goes on to CNBC overtime alongside L3 Harris's CEO, and they cover a multitude of different topics like their recent partnership, freshly signed, but also getting their opinions and outlooks on the marketplace, their companies, the partnership, and the election, and even the stock's valuation from Carp. It was a massive 17 minute interview and the big highlights for Palantirians is that Carp is continuing to double down on Palantir's position of strength and noted in the recent PR, this partnership is marrying together their prowess around hardware and software coming together as two companies and Palantir obviously handling the software end of things ensures that the design of systems alongside hardware shouldn't be an afterthought added on. But rather the ideal situation is that this ecosystem marrying the two together is in the US's best interest for producing the best technology. So they continue to proclaim that they are delivering real solutions to AI because they've done the hard work building this up from the ground up and actually implementing and solving the hard problems that they've done before working with the US military and intelligence to where it's applicable today for commercial customers. And he's of course talking about the ontology. And regardless of politics and Palantir and CARP's open opinions on certain issues and policies, customers are still flocking to them, signing up with them because they know they actually work. Now, what a lot of investors are curious about is what's CARP's thoughts on the recent price action and the stock. And he handled this as any CEO would with any basic media training, honestly. His focus is clearly on the business itself, of course, but notes how they've always been called overvalued valued at some point over time throughout their lifetime as a company, even when back in private markets, but quickly transitions on how they've overcome the naysayers with making gap profitable products, getting into the S&P and many more. So it's basically a safe answer for the CEO not to talk about the stock. So if you're new to Carp though, definitely another must watch where it does not only show his words, but the passion in the way he speaks on certain topics. And it shows he's not here for the short term to make a quick buck. He truly believes and is steering the company in a way that aligns with their mission while still being being viable as a gap profitable business that can sustain itself for the future. Valuation will take care of itself over time, and he is focused on delivering growth and winning in the commercial marketplace today. And at least in my personal opinion, this is the type of leadership I prefer for a company in this stage of life. They need to continue to fight and gain market share. And of course, there's a new market here, but either way, they seem to be the leader at this point. And a buttoned up operator, though, at some point is important for a much more mature business. But continued innovation and nuance is a much more important factor here, in my opinion. But you can't even argue that under CARP, they've been responsible already as financial stewards for the company and have gotten them to a point of gap profitability with a big cash pile today. Although some will talk about that crutch of stock based compensation. So we'll see over time if Pounder can grow into this multiple value today and if the market will allow them time to do so or if this is just another time of volatility and rich valuation that may put pressure on the pound here stock in the short term all i know for sure is that i'm confident in their business itself to continue to capture customers and deliver value and for a company like this the noise is not for everyone so do what you want with this information but what are your thoughts below and i'll see you in the next video